Okay, so here we have question number three from practice paper A for the new P1 syllabus. And um, we're told here that the curve with equation y equals h of x passes through the point 419. Uh, given that h dash of x equals 15x times root x minus 40 over root x, find h of x. So basically, they've given us the gradient function, and they want us to use that to find the original function. So if we take the gradient function, which is hx, okay, and the, the, the gradient function, which is h dash x, okay, get it ready for integration by uh, combining these for these two you got it's like 15 x times x to the power of a half the square root of x is x to the power of a half so we have to add these powers so it's 15 x to the power of one and a half or three over two okay minus and here you got 40 over x to the power of a half okay which is the same as 40 times x to the power of minus a half now this is ready for um, integration so h of x is going to be the integral of h dash of x so it's the integral of these terms in here so if i integrate that with respect to x i'm going to find the original function so i have to integrate this so i'm going to get remember to integrate you have to add one to the power so you have 15 x to the power of that's going to be 3 over 2 plus 1, which is 3 over 2 plus 2 over 2, which is 5 over 2. So I've got to divide that by the new power, which is 5 over 2, minus, and you've got to add 1 to the power here, so you have 40x to the power of positive a half, divided by positive a half, and don't forget, very, very important, plus c. There's a constant that could be there before you differentiate, so you must write it down. So now let's um, simplify this. This is uh, when you're dividing by a fraction you're multiplying by its reciprocal so it's like two-fifths times 15 x to the power of 5 over 2 and this is like minus 40 divided by a half is like 40 times 2 which is 80 times x to the power of a half plus c and that is our h of x and we just simplify that a little bit here that cancels with that leaving you with 3 2 times 3 is 6 you have 6 x to the power of 5 over 2 minus 80x to the power of a half plus c. Okay, now they gave us a point which was 419. So we know the point 419 is on this um, curve. So what we can do here is we can substitute the value of um, x and y from the point p as it satisfies this equation uh, into the equation and we'll be able to find what c is. So we can see when x is equal to 4, um, the whole expression is going to equal 19. Actually, we can see from this that h4 equals 19. This is for the actual curve itself, because this line lies on this curve. All right, so I'm going to get 19 if I substitute 4 instead of x. So I have 6 times, now this is the same as the square root of 4 squared. Okay, x to the power of 5 over 2, uh, so, sorry, the square root of 4 to the power of 5. That's what that means. Okay, the square root of 4 to the power of 5, because the top is the power and the bottom is the root in the index, okay, in the index power. And here you got minus 80 times, well, x to the power of half is the square root of 4, and plus c, so we should be able to find what c is now. Okay, so you got 19 equals, now, the square root of 4, so you have 6 times, and the square root of 4 is 2, and 2 to the power of 5 is 32, minus 80 times 2, which is 160, plus C. So we have 19 is equal to, that's going to give you 180 plus 12, 192, minus 160, plus, whoops, plus C. So there... We can now finish off the question. We have um, 19 is equal to 32. 60 plus 32 will give you 92, yes, plus C. So C is equal to 19 
minus 32. So C is equal to, so you've got 19, 29, that's 10 plus 3, that's going to be a minus 13. Okay, uh, if you, yeah, that's right. 19 minus 32 is minus 13. And there we have the answer to the question, what does it ask us to do? Uh, find h of x. So now the answer is h of x is equal to 6 times x to the power of 5 over 2 minus 80 times x to the power of a half and minus 13. And there's our final answer for this part of the question. Okay? 6x to the power of 5 over 2 minus 80x to the power of half minus 13. Okay, that's the end of this question. Thank you for watching.